What's up guys? So in the middle of me wiring my car, well at the end actually, uh, I was testing the fuel pump and this thing here starts leaking from the bottom part where the return line is. Uh, also, I didn't see any pressure coming in here. So I end up uh, buying another one today and we're gonna install it. Let's do it. Gonna get the last line. Nice. And this goes in here. Boom. It should be pre configured for 43 psi. That's usually what happens. Uh, but yeah, lines are tight. Uh, I just need to plug the the fuel pump and see if it leaks anything. So I'm gonna put a paper here. All right, let me do it. Now I'm gonna turn on the main power and the pump. Okay. I didn't see pressure, but nothing leaked. All right, so for some reason there's no pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I unplug this guy and I'm gonna see if there's gas coming to this side here then I can isolate something from here down so let me try ooh almost nothing so yeah I would assume that something is wrong on the pump maybe uh, yeah, I don't know. I gotta open the pump and see what's happening. <laughs> I have gas all over my hair, my head and everywhere. So what happened was I, my lines somehow are switched. So the input line was on the return. And so you can imagine what happened to the return. So the return was on the input when I was turning on it was coming into the regulator here and coming from the bottom which means no pressure uh, not a big deal bought a new one same problem right of course this wouldn't fix it so now let's see if we have some pressure all right time of the truth all right it's not leaking Woo! There's noise in there. Okay. Oh no. Here. It's leaking from there. No! <clears throat> Alright, so it is next day. I slept for three hours and no did not take a shower and i'm stinky and i have two hours to be sure that this is done the house of holes is closed the inland pacific this is the part that's leaking <clears throat> so i am putting a little bit of tape uh, this part here do not rotate like the other ones so this should not come off i could weld it in place but then if I screw it, that's going to be my last resources. So, let me try it. Alright, so, I went to, I missed my uh, drifting, can't register anymore apparently. Uh, I went to Harbor Freight and bought this thing here. It's a HNBR or ring set. Smells like crap. Smells like passion fruit. So, if you smell the earrings, if it smells like passion fruit, that's it. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, plugged everything, uh, put papers here very close to each injector. Nothing uh, leaked. 
as you see inside we have check it out we I, I kind of mocked you see like the ACU has one plug so if I turn on the main power and now if I press this button it's gonna try to crank uh, this is the you see the uh, pump so you can see it's happening and you see here 43 42 and no gas anywhere my first problem was right in here I took it off tight and put some tape on the top one uh, which is fixed it's not it's not uh, like the AEN fittings and then it worked yeah so we got the three problems fixed uh, one I thought it was the fuel pressure regulator it had no problem and I ended up breaking the gauge the second one uh, was leaking from the hose that connects on the at the end of the fuel bar and last one all my o-rings from my injectors um, they were not good so those are the OEM injectors so the o-rings they were um, cracked I have no idea why I just didn't buy a new kit to fix the o-rings like way back then um, I ordered some now but I bought some o-rings uh, as I showed you guys which I piled up and you know it kind of worked but um, yeah not ideal so yeah you know I guess uh, what we take from this is uh, nothing bad of course it leaked gas and all that stuff not good but um, I guess to me what I learned from this was uh, when I'm building something when I'm building an engine or doing anything on a car um, I, I guess I want to pay more attention to little details like stuff that I know I want to get done but I know that's not quite right but I let it sleep and then <laughs> craps up so yeah I hope this video helps you somehow pay attention in, in small stuff as you're building because um, I learned that if you go on the too cheap you end up spending more money I went to this year very cheap $99 the amount of money that I need to spend to make that thing fit on my engine bay um, I could have got a $500 one and would be much nicer would look I'm not complaining this looks awesome but it could look better just because I didn't want to spend the money um, so yeah pay some attention oh the other problem the lines down there were switched for some reason so um, and for some reason it's called Marcos yeah uh, but anyway also learned from that don't forget to subscribe to my channel there is much more to come I have the upgrade for the coils coming um, and some other stuff that you're gonna have fun watching Check out my website www.carmodsgarage.com There's a bunch of cool merch in there. I really appreciate you guys uh, getting stuff there that really helps me uh, You know get the parts and get all of this done and You know how I go at the end of every video. I'll see you around